It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. You remember a while back I was talking about those worthless consultants that'll just tell you what you want to hear to make you feel good, hoping they could keep their paychecks coming. I mean, they would never tell you what you need to hear because if they did that, well, you might fire them. I mean, they were so insecure about their talent. I was listening to some things the other day. Well, actually, there was a consultant. I think they're a consultant. I'm not really sure what they are. But they described this global pandemic economic shutdown as a blip. It's just a blip. When this blip is over, we'll go back to a new normal. Isn't that special? Boy, everybody wants to hear things like that. But then I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe the word blip means scorched earth. Maybe the word blip actually means global pandemic. I mean, I only went to high school. I got to admit, I didn't go to college. But I got this fancy interactive board from my friends at ClearTouch, so I decided I would Google blip, see what it is. What is it really? Well, I Googled it. Here it is. An unexpected minor and typically temporary deviation from a general trend. An unexpected minor is the word. Minor. See, this word blip, it makes you feel good. If Ray says, you know, scorched earth, global pandemic, economic shutdown, those are scary words. Scary words scare people. Blip. I mean, it almost sounds, you know, comical. It's just a little blip. Holy crap. Folks, I got to tell you something. Any consultant that would use the word blip when there's 30 million people in America without a job, when there's bankruptcies lining up every day, there's more, when the entire planet is in an economic shutdown, when there's literally hundreds of thousands of people that have lost their life we're going to call this a blip. Whew, I got to tell you something. Kind of nutty. Anytime, my friend. Here's the reality. You know, if you're, if you're in the imaging channel and you're one of those Ray fans, well, the people that aren't the Ray fans are usually the status quo because, you know, I end every video. How do I end it? You know, status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Basically, everyone in the world knows that Ray hates status quo. But the problem is, a lot of these inept consultants, they want to make everybody feel good all the time. And I told you all a long time ago, I'm not the imaging channel psychiatrist. I'm not that person. I'm not the person that's going to paint, you know, a pretty picture, make you all feel good. I'm trying to paint a picture to prepare you to act appropriately so we can make some money. When we hear things like it's a blimp, we hear things. Here's the other thing. We keep hearing, they always do this when they want to, you know, come after what I'm trying to do with this A4 revolution. This is kind of exciting to me. Which, by the way, when the old way starts screaming about how much the new way sucks, the new way knows they are gaining momentum. By the way, it's a compliment. But anyway, we see these things. Here's that big, giant A3 copy machine because these, these consultants will keep saying, it's not about A3 and A4, Ray. It's about workflows and document management. What bullshit. We've been talking about document management and workflows for 20 freaking years. Who in the world is in the dealer world that could get rid of all their print equipment and say, I'm making money enough to support a business selling document management? Zero. Workflows. Workflows is a word we made up. So we would feel better about what we do selling print. Kind of nutty. It is about A3. It's about getting rid of these oversold pieces of crap where 85% of the market doesn't need them and selling the customer an A4. This one even has a finisher on it. Because the difference in those dollars between those two allows the end user to have more money to buy other stuff. Now do you get it? Folks, we're trying to help customers with the right products, with the right fits. And the only way the imaging channel is going to go back into the marketplace and face the realities is to friggin' pay attention to them and quit hiring these lunatics that tell you what you want to hear all the time. If you want to show up you know, and have them come in and be your psychiatrist to make you feel good, that's fine. Pay them for psychological you know, feel-goodness. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. If you want to bring people in there to help you change what you're doing, to help you deliver by the market realities, then go to the people that aren't afraid to tell you those realities. You see, the consultants that want to make you feel good, they're the ones that will always say, it's not about A3 or A4, Ray. It's not about A3 or A4, Ray. Because, see, realistically, a dealer does not want to hear, he does not want to hear or she does not want to hear that 90%, 85% of her customers don't need this. It's too damn, dis it's, it's very upsetting. They, they struggle with the concept. 
So they hire these lunatics to go tell them what all this nice stuff. They describe a global pandemic as a blip. Are you kidding me? A blip. This is the, this is the psychiatry, you know, if you want me to be the psychiatrist. Anybody that would use this word in this global pandemic is a person that will do whatever it takes to make people feel good. Now, people are saying, well, Ray, what's wrong with that? Well, that's a terrible thing if you're also trying to help them improve so they can make more money. Separate the two. Either be the damn psychiatrist or be the consultant that can really go in there and help dealers move the needle and make actual money. But calling the global pandemic a blip, we're all great people, we'll get through it. Everything will be just fine. We'll be back to the normal. Those are just nutty things to even comprehend. The United States is going to have five, six, seven trillion dollars in new debt. That's just one country on the planet that's affected by this. We've got to prepare ourselves for how we're going to go to market when this thing's over. And document management, I just, that's just nutty to me. First of all, it's not about a damn document. It's about the information on the document. You know what IT stands for? Information technology. My friends in the imaging channel, IT does not stand for document technology. Otherwise, they would have called it DT. It's about the information and the technology. It's not about a damn sheet of paper. So all I want to say is look for those consultants that weren't afraid to tell you the things you needed to hear pre-virus. Go to them post-virus. Because all those lunatics that were telling you everything you wanted to hear for the last 20 years did nothing, did a damn nothing for your bottom line, did nothing for your pocketbook. Nothing. Am I wrong? My friends, I'm going to end this like I always do. Status quo is the killer. Of all that'll be invented, don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. See, I could be nice.